Where are we going? Uh, shrimps are us and more. I'm here for the more. You're I'm here, here for the shrimps. <laughs> Famous shrimp place. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Short little walk from the city dock. So easy little dinghy ride in. Stand on the path that I've chosen straight up. Come my way and I'll see you at the top. Cause humanity can't see what it's already found That love is all around If we open our eyes and our hearts and our minds Quit it with this nonsense about the gifts Somewhere <laughs> we, we are off Georgetown um, That's kind of Lake George Just around the bend over there We're more than halfway up the St. John's River On our big river cruise So we are taking one of the many side trips That you can off the Great Loop uh, The St. John's River runs basically from Jacksonville all the way down to Brevard County, but is navigable by boats our size all the way to Sanford, which is just north of Orlando. <laughs> it's a little windy out here. <laughs> it's a bit windy, but yeah, so so this is a, a, an amazing river cruise. The St. John's River, I just looked it up, it was um, named back in the 1600s by Spanish explorers, and this has been a classic river trip ever since before the dawn of our nation. So uh, John Bartram, who was King George's bot royal botanist to the Americas came and did a trip and explored this entire river back in the 1760s. And he actually is the one who named Lake George and uh, discovered many of these things along the way. <laughs> so, step yeah. out of the wind. Um, and, and so and it's been a, just a, an amazing river ever since. So much history because it was so navigable that river boats went all the way up and down. This was basically the gateway to Florida because Florida was so hard to travel across by road and rail. So until rail came, this was the highway into Florida. And by water. By water. The highway, <laughs> yes. The water highway into Florida. So this is, this is like so much history. Um, and it's so beautiful, and it's still in large parts undeveloped. So we've been going past the Ocala National yeah, Forest. Yeah, the Ocala National Forest right behind yeah. us. <laughs> we saw um, alligators yesterday. <laughs> um, and what's really cool about this river trip, number one, we're in a lot of fresh water. Yes. So um, much kinder on the boat in general <laughs> than salt water that we've been traveling in. There's a lot of little side creeks. Um, and they're so deep, some of them are like 40 feet deep. This is some of the deepest water we've been in since we've <laughs> owned the boat. You know, we've been all through the Keys, all through the ICW, and I don't think I've ever seen the depth sounder say 40, 40 feet before until we got here. Which is nothing to our, 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 our so, passage-making friends, but yes. <laughs> we're doing 2,000 feet, and but we're, for us, we're like 40. <laughs> we're, we're in a creek, and they're like, wait, we gotta, how close to shore do we have to get to throw the anchor down to find some shallow <laughs> water just to anchor? Um, Let's get you caught up if you missed last episode. We started the journey off by anchoring in Doctor's Lake. Our engine went out on the dinghy, so we replaced it in Black Creek. We then anchored up Black Creek for an amazing three days in solitude and nature. And then we moved on to Green Cove Springs, which is where our domicile and mail forwarding service is at, and anchored right off the city docks. And then we moved over to Deep Creek. And that gets you caught up to this journey. So then we went to another creek, Murphy's Creek, right? Right, Murphy's Island, Murphy's which Island, is yes. a park area. There is landing there, but it's the creek kind of runs behind it, and there's not easy land access from yeah. there. But there's a nice little meandering creek going through there, yeah. so it's really fun to drive the boat oh, through these little twists and turns. Beautiful little oxbows back and forth, back and forth on the back of Murphy's Island. Oxbows, and there is a big giant car ferry tied up on the side of this creek with two converted buses, 
two airstreams, a sailboat, a trimaran, and a motorboat as like a floating compound. It's like straight out of Waterworld. Totally fascinating to see this. Apparently it's like a local landmark. It's been there several years. Somebody, some local nurse lives aboard. And it's like, wow, that's kind of like the dream, having a little floating compound. <laughs> but I want to be mobile, not just <laughs> yeah, it's not in tied one in one spot. So we ended up one night in... Um, or is that Murphy's, Murphy's, Murphy's Island? Murphy's Island. Uh, yeah, then we went from Murphy's Island to uh, Turkey Island. This kitten, is now you're cruising. Morning cruise, how is it? Yeah? Watch out for alligators. There may be some alligators out there. the town of uh, Wallaka. Um, I found a nice anchorage just uh, basically near town but still kind of remote. We had a really, actually really pretty place to be. Um, but we were close enough to um, dinghy ashore and we found a, you know, the one restaurant in town is yes. Shrimps Are Us. I love shrimp. He <laughs> and, doesn't. No, but the, 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 uh, the and more. Shrimps Are Us and more. And the and uh, Shrimps Are Us and more. I'm here for the more. You're I'm here for the wish. shrimps. Gotta eat it now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how big this piece of fish is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the best fish I've ever had. It was ridiculously good. And the shrimp was amazing. <laughs> yeah. I had their blackened. Yeah. Oh, just delightful. Um, but it was about a mild dinghy ride right in yeah, and back. So, and half, yeah. yeah. So it was pleasant. Got to do some walking, found uh, a fish and wildlife hatchery there, and there visited their aquarium. We wouldn't have found it if it wasn't for Pokemon, actually, because it was—it's not on Yelp, it's not really on anything. It's just like, what's this aquarium? Let's go check it out, and it's open, and it had, had a really nice display. It's actually it's a really kind of neat, off the beaten path tourist attraction. But the hatchery itself didn't seem to be open because all the ponds were completely dry. dry. Yeah. So. But the fish in the aquarium were quite happy, and it was really neat, really, really well done. We thought we might stay a second night there because there's been a little bit of unsettled weather moving over the state uh, right now as we've moved south it's a, become less and less of an impact on us. It actually. Uh, we thought we'd stay a second right there because it's a really nicely protected between two land masses uh, but about mid-afternoon this afternoon we decided you know what it's looking good let's get a little closer uh, to Lake George which is right behind us there. Yeah, so we're, we're now uh, I guess this is Black Point Anchorage right over here. Right yeah I, I made the decision to yeah. anchor over here and a little yeah, more protected this, this from the wind. This is a Georgetown, a tiny little town over there, um, and then it's Lake George. It's the second biggest lake in Florida, um, and we will be crossing our, into that tomorrow. Yes, and there's a, apparently some nice side trips off of that into some spring. So, so the if the weather right. it looks like good weather all weekend long, so we're hoping to do some uh, anchoring there and go explore the springs. And then uh, we apparently it gets even more beautiful <laughs> as we get south of Lake George yeah. and on our way into Sanford, which is where we'll be and we, turning around at. And we've really only got five five days I to know. get to Sanford, and it just feels like I could spend another two or three weeks getting there. I guess we'd probably need to find a place to pump out, but that, 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 that could be found. Uh, but yeah, this has been a really neat trip, and looking forward to, to seeing the, the rest of it and on the way to Sanford. Yes, but definitely a, a trip you need to do a little bit of pre-planning for. There's not a lot of provisioning along the way. There's a couple grocery stores. Hey, there was a, a kangaroo convenience store in Wallaka. You know, we could have, yes. like, you know, bought beef jerky. Uh, there's not a lot of <laughs> diesel fuel available yes. along the way. It's pretty much Sanford or Jack or Doctor's Lake or your 
year two. Um, and pump outs are pretty scarce. Particularly so. if you have a bigger boat. If you have a smaller boat, I mean, th th this, this river is boating paradise for small boats. There, there's mm -hmm. lots of places that can provide gas, lots of places that can provide docking for 25 foot long boats and houseboats and pontoon boats, but a bigger lot of free cruising boats, tough. Yeah, a lot of free city docks and stuff like that. Uh, so if you're a larger boat like us, be prepared to be self-sufficient and just come prepared for that. So, and yes. the, but there is provisioning at either end. So. Yes. We will be taking advantage that when we get to Sanford and we turn around. But this has been amazing. It's been great. It's great to be back cruising and on the water again. Loving, loving, loving our time at Anchor. Oh, it's so nice. All right, <laughs> tomorrow morning, Lake George. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Join us next time as we continue exploring up the St. John's River as we head south to Sanford. If you like these videos, please do give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. These videos are made possible by your enthusiasm.